Let's continue on with Megapolis City, 5th Anniversary by Lego Monkey Kid. This is set number 80054. Contains 2,330 bricks. Retails for $189.99. And this set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And yes, we're in Manual 2. And now, uh, yeah, this is what we've done here. This is bags 1 through 20. And uh, remember in the last installment, things were just getting to be too long, so I've decided just to break this down into six installments. Should be fine at that point. And yeah, so I'm going to put all the minifigures and accessories in here, anything that's loose. And hopefully we can start putting some of the bigger stuff together. And just for indexing purposes, this is the, the build preview. And yeah. So remember, in the last installment here, we pretty much put a big dent in stickers. It's just getting pretty brutal. And I think I said it was going to be at a 9 or something like that. Just because of all the stickers, the vape thing still there. I'm hoping to get rid of at least one of these tonight. Probably not. And yeah, so let's see here. That's where we're going to be starting at. But before we can, I want to move this stuff around just to kind of, you know, make some space in here. It's all small parts. We haven't put anything together yet, so there's a lot of things that can get lost. And it looks like up to four people so far can really build this set comfortably, possibly more. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, this room is packed with all sorts of stuff. Uh, I just got my parts in today, my, my second half of my parts haul. And unfortunately, I can't start building anything until after Thanksgiving. So that doesn't do me any good. Yeah, alrighty. Let's see here. Looking for bag 21, and that's what it is. So let's get started with bag 21. Yeah, my parts came in. I'm still actually working on the video. I got the video edited and improved. It's up on YouTube. I just haven't published it. Well, by the time you're watching this, it probably already has been published. Um, well, let's just set that there. So, so far up to bag 20, we haven't really put anything big together. It's just a lot of small stuff. And... Yeah, I'm starting. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I'm starting to get bored. It's just too big of a set. You know, this is something you want to build with friends. So now today we are going to be working on. I guess continuing on the little music shop. And let's get going on that there. Yeah, you notice the camera's getting back further and further. Why? Because the stuff is getting taller and taller. And I don't want to keep moving the cameras back and forth. You know, I know there's some out there who uh, have the professional gig. Yeah, that's, uh, I've, already, I've already been chewed out a few times. And like, uh, sometimes I'll just be like, hey, you know, if you want to send the cash, you know, this is what I'm looking for. And nobody's ever taken up on my offer. That kind of thing. So I just do this for fun. You know, if I make a boo-boo, so be it. So anyways, you know, this is what we've been working on. And now I got my parts in. I can't do anything else. I can't build anything else until we get this done. And I'm kind of excited to do some new stuff. Uh, but next year, I think I'm going to do a lot of it on uh, as exclusives for maybe five years, and I'll publish it to everybody. I don't know. I haven't figured it out how I want to do it yet. I'm looking at the YouTube stats, and it's like, I think the algorithm's killing my channel off, and uh, it's just getting to where it's not so fun anymore. Uh, one time, I, I did a, a little bit of it. YouTube did a, uh, one of their... Uh, Creator administrators did an interview with me, and I just flat out said, I said, you know, you guys' algorithm is killing a lot of people off of YouTube. You know, and I don't want to go to the other other sites, but uh, a lot of my stuff would be able to fit on TikTok, except TikTok is vertical. I don't want to do vertical uh, 
uh, builds or vertical videos. Uh, some things like towers would be okay, but stuff like this wouldn't really work very well for vertical use. You know, if I'm building something horizontal. You know, so hopefully maybe YouTube will shape up, but you know, and I was reading something about browsers. YouTube wants to start blocking browsers from using certain browsers. And I thought, well, that's not going to be good. Wait a minute, am I missing something that goes in there? Oh, yeah, a leaf. I thought, well, we're not blocking browsers. <laughs> Had something to do with advertising or something. I don't know. Um... I'm just using these things here to hold the plant pieces down. So yeah, I got my parts haul in. I'm ready to do the other big stuff that I want to build. Now it's finding the time. I got Thanksgiving in the way that I got to get it done, and then I can start uh, doing the fun stuff. But right now I got to worry about Thanksgiving, and you know, things just come in too late. That's why when you ever get into this, you know, make sure I always have a, a backup project to, uh, to do. But I'm getting more requests for selling building guides. So guys and gals, the video tutorials may end. <laughs> I'll still be doing this because YouTube sends this stuff to me to review. So, And we need to find sticker 31 to put on that tile, which I don't really want to do. And that's what we need right there. I have a viewer of mine ask me, because Jay, do you do this as for a job? I'm like, no. The review stuff, in order to keep it, it's like a job. But it's, uh, that's what it is. It's, how does that go on there? Wait a minute, do I even have it on right? I get roasted for putting things on backwards on these. You know, I've had some that just says, well, well, you do a lot of videos, this must be your job. No, it doesn't pay very well to be a job. I mean, if I was doing this full time, it'd be fun, but... It would get also get to be work. Then it wouldn't be so fun. It's like computer programming. I used to do a lot of the computer programming. It was fun. And then it became more and more not so fun. So like now I'm working on this that my network TV tuner project. And I already have it figured out how I'm grabbing the uh you know, the decoder for the closed captions, language, the title and the description of the show, and the station number and stuff. It's already figured out. I just got to write it up. But that's just the, that's just it. It's writing it up. I have a feeling there's another speaker that goes over here, too. Yeah. This time it's a blue one. Anybody remembers the old fashioned rack systems we used to have in the 80s and 90s? And I found mine in the, the workshop today, and it's got some severe problems. I think it's capacitors. And I got to thinking, though, will I really ever use it? I, I, I don't think I'll ever. Well, that's a silver metallic nose cone. I don't think I'll ever use having the loud boom, boom, boom stereos anymore. I'm just kind of... That was fine when I was in high school, but now... I, I just don't see the need for them anymore. Well, that just disintegrated. Okay, i got to ding it down to an 8.8. .8. But, you know, it's it's just kind of... Kind of just pointless anymore. I mean, now with all the modern 
technology. I knew somebody who uh, hooked their uh, their modern one of those modern stereos to uh, an unis an unisolated tube piece of tube equipment and just completely fried their stereo. That's like, dude, I could even have told you you're going to have to isolate that. Oh, I don't need to do that. Well, the modern equipment is not going to handle those type of voltages. Uh, can you fix it? I look at it and I said, this, this thing is junk. I could. I said, but you're talking literally hundreds of dollars just in, in time. Yeah, that's just... Uh, that's just not worth it. And, uh, well, can you try to fix it? I'm like, yeah, if you cough up the dough. Uh, some people think I just fix it for free, like I'm doing it for fun. Uh, if it's stuff from my own personal collection, that's fun. You know, trying to find a vacuum tube to repair an amp or a television, but trying to, or to recap something, but to do... You know, stuff like this, it uh, gets to be a lot. I mean, you know, to, to restore things. And we need to put sticker number four on that, which is that right there. I may just incline to keep that. And the little center thing's supposed to come out with it. Well, that'll make a great sticker for something. And then getting that on there is going to be a turd. I know there's some people out there who can put stickers on really straight. And yeah, that did not go on very well. <laughs> and I got to ding it down to an 8.6 before somebody said it's a skill issue. No, I shouldn't have to put uh, stickers on sets that are... Two hundred dollars. I should just be able to to bring it out of the box and start building. Oh, Jay, you're complaining again. <laughs> Trust me, it's it's for the best. Um, I forgot to put that stud on the bottom. We'll be trying to make this a Technics twelve hundred. Probably so. Well, they used the crowbar for that. That's kind of cool. First, I gotta find the right part. Let me make sure here. Okay. So it's almost like a, I'm not gonna say a Victrola. I have one of those record plays you have to wind up. Oh, I got it on backwards. Like that. With the counterweight in the back. What's the counterweight for? So you don't you correct tracking pressure. You don't want to gouge your records. <laughs> I think that goes on there. That's not too bad. I just wish this was printed. Make a great mock piece. And we got more leaf pieces to put together here. Yeah, but after a while when sets are this big, I just kind of start losing interest, you know. That's why a lot of the more elaborate sets are meant for adults. And... Sometimes though, the bigger sets just kind of you know, just kind of get boring after a while. If this was a modular, this would be about the same part count as a modular. It's hard to say, but at least the set though is broken down to where it's not like you're doing the same old the same old builds. And, 
Yeah, let's see here. I have been so lazy. I hadn't even shaved or anything. I've just been kind of kind of lounging around, not doing much of anything. You know, when you work your butt off, you just want to kind of slow it down a little bit. Of course, you always have some that say, well, you're, uh, you're not productive because you're not working. Well, I'm off. And then this goes here. This has got some trees and stuff in it. I have one extra of these slopes. So where does those go? I'm going to have to look and check my workout. Probably something I'm forgetting here. We have a tile there. I think there's supposed to be a slope there. I got two of these. See, here's only supposed to be one. So. Yeah. Okay, I found it. This one goes right up in here, right by this tree. I'm just going to pull that out and put this in there real quick. Right there is where I forgot. So you may forget that too. It's hard to say. And yeah, I mean, this is kind of cool. These would just be great little standalone sets. And that's what we have remaining for bag 21. Okay, let's see what bag 22 has to offer. Oh, I see a bluish green door frame. I can possibly use those. I think we're done with this. I could be wrong. I don't know. Make sure it's not left in that bag. Yeah, oh. So this actually goes somewhere. And I've noticed this. A lot of this stuff's supposed to be put on that frame there. Am I missing some stuff? Am I just kind of skipping things? Alright, so before we start that, let's start putting some of the stuff on here. And yeah, it's uh, that's the price you have to pay when doing these things. Sometimes it's just uh, something we have to do. And I'll start with this one here because this one needs to go on, and it just snaps in here. Six. When I have to stop and put crap back on, yeah, this is starting to get pretty flimsy. So I'm going to let this be known on the review. That wa read the instructions very carefully, but you better have yourself a turntable or something to put this thing on because this thing's going to start flying off parts real soon. You got to be very careful. So place that in there. I mean. Kind of reminds me of just some place that you'd see like in probably the I don't know I, uh, I I don't know let's just set that over there and now let's proceed on we got a mini figure we got to build at least we got rid of some stickers but we're still not uh, done with them yet. So here we go. Let's start. Build this. Let's build the figure. Yeah, I'm probably one of the very few ambassadors. It's probably the only one that never has been to a Lego store. I always hear people talking about it, and I'm literally my closest ones that actually have stayed over. And I'm not much into uh, going over there to. Uh, Vegas. So it's kind of not my thing. Oh, I'm I'm skipping the minifigure. My bad. Um, and we need a torso. Some blue. Uh, not a Persian. I doubt that's going to be of Laplorian or anything like that. 
I wonder if there's anybody out there in their 40s who did Pokemon. I'm sure there probably is. Oh, we got Orange Beard. Ginger Beard. Gingerbread. I was going to bake some cookies. And, well, my bunch wasn't behaving enough. So I was like, well, we can't have those right now. I try not to fill these videos up with drama and stuff, but sometimes it's hard to uh, avoid. I've never had a mohawk piece before, so you get one. Matter, let alone, I never had a mohawk in real life. I knew somebody in high school who had one. Really nice guy, too. Really nice to everybody. Just had that big mohawk. <laughs> I mean, he looked intimidating, but he was he was a cool guy. Wasn't any of that stuff, straight edge, just... I guess he's... I can't remember. I think he said he was rebelling against his parents or something like that. I don't know, but... That's all you have right there for that first step. Uh, I never went that far. Just dyeing and bleaching is all I did. And the piercings, I never did any that weird stuff. Well, I never pierced my face. Just the ear parts. But, yeah. Those days have long since passed. And now what am I doing? Computer programming and Lego stuff. And making sure we're recording here. So yeah, with this new, um, I use the ring light solo. And uh, the door looks, you see some pits in it and some scratches. Lego, really. I'm going to have to ding it down to an 8.5 because of that now. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying. I bet this is scratched. Or is that a scuff? No. Scratched. Any more things that are scratched, Lego? Quality control is lacking. Yeah. Oh, one by six brick. We got a couple of those. Boring black and blue screen. Yeah, but my haul today came in. I was just kind of excited. When you get a when you get a new haul coming in, that's when you get excited. It's like, yes. The build, the build can begin. The fun can begin, you know. And then you look and think, oh no, I gotta clean everything up for for company. Well, I won't be getting to that anytime soon. Okay, that's right in the middle. I couldn't tell. It's like, well, I can't do any. I can't. I can't have the fun yet. I got some good builds, and I just. I mean. It's just having access to everything right now is the problem. I have a I barely have access to this. When I was doing the haul, I did it mobile. I did it in my bedroom. Use the ring light. The ring light shuts off. You won't know it in the video, but it shuts off. And I just thought, you're kidding me. I've never had a problem with it. I don't know if it was the phone charger I was using or what, but it just shuts off within like five minutes, but when I do a tutorial, it just runs and runs and runs. So I thought, well, I hope it's not something bad. Because I don't want to um, have to run out and get another one right now. Uh, these stupid smartphones just keep rolling around on me here. And I just thought, oh, I don't need anything breaking now. It's the holidays. I have to spend my money elsewhere. <laughs> I can't get the new stuff for a while. Okay, yellow. All right. 
Oh, we actually got to put glass in these. Okay, well, how bad are these scratched? Well, that one's in good shape. Putting these things in here can be a turd. You got to really push them in. Well, I mean. That one looks pretty good, too. Sadly, Lego, I got a bunch of those. Not yellow, though. And it says, set it like this. And dump a bunch of studs in there. I messed up. Yeah, these bedside builds are kind of cool, but they're also kind of kind of tiresome. <laughs> I just don't have time in the day anymore. I'm just pretty much busy throughout the day, and then now I'm busy at night. Well, at least we're sealing it. Because I don't have a lot of yellow windows for anything. Well, let's do the black one first, because it's easier. And then these I'm probably going to have to wiggle to get that in there. Okay. So. Yeah, I also remember uh, college and you go home for Thanksgiving was always fun. You didn't have to study or anything for for a while. Now it's like, yeah, I think these are supposed to be like some kind of candy machine or one of those vending machines, like a claw machine. And that's what they're doing here. They're using some of these minifigure accessories with like little handles. You just stick them in there. You know how you put the coin in, you turn the little handle and then an overpriced toy comes out that falls apart after just falling out of the container it just disintegrates and I do need to get a haircut too I, my guy was just booked today just book solid he's book solid tomorrow I thought man he's closed Thursday and Friday he had a bunch of openings and I thought I'm I'm going to wait and go into town later. I'm not going to mess with it now. I don't care how I look because I'm not even bothered going anywhere. Uh, sticker number five. Well, i got to find it first. That. I like how they just fall right on the bricks and they just go on perfect. It's like, you know, any other time that would have just been sloppy. And on this nice uh, aqua blue color too. This color here works really well for pools. And now we need sticker number 11. At least we're nibbling on this here. Yeah, I bought some of these cookies. I don't, think I, need to, I don't know if I've done a review on them or not. I haven't done anything on my snack food review channel in so long. If, there's, if I still got another bag, I'm going to probably do one of those videos and put it on my snack food channel. I haven't done anything with that. I think it would be kind of cool to re-resurrect that channel. Oh, yes, I looked. This channel has got a thousand subs as of the filming of this, which is real cool. So now I gotta think of a way to do live streams on here. Like what what do I stream? Um you know what kind of content? It won't be video games, it won't be Minecraft. Uh, but I think the best thing to do is just to I don't know yet. We'll have to see here. We got to put a sticker on this, but this is scratch, so no will be there. 
And tonight we had barbecue hamburgers. Thank goodness it wasn't chicken. Sticker number 51. Because we're going to have yummy turkey. Who wants to have... There it is. Who wants to have a chicken the night before Thanksgiving? And we're going to have leftovers for like a whole week. <laughs> Well, I didn't get that on there straight. It's already a solid 8.5 now. And stickers is what's killing this. I forgot to put the handle on the door. What kind of stuff did it say to use? Uh, getting tired. And then I have my contacts removed. So I'm winging it right now. At least all this is locked together. I mean, at least for the most part, these are playable models. They're not something kind of boring or anything. These are just fully playable modular buildings. You know, they did this with one of the city sets, that big one that I had. Uh, I think it's a city center or something like that. I can't remember. It's like all those funky buildings you'd rearrange and what I heard is that they got a new diff they got a different Lego city designer and I thought, man, these are just these are meant to be built with other with friends and stuff. They're not like just you build alone. Like this one here is meant to be built with friends. You know, it's just how it is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and populate the glass now because this is almost the same thing we did before. This is probably these little candy machines or vending machines this idea here alone could be transplanted into your own creations like if you're doing a, an arcade or something you know that's could be the thing well we don't want two green ones in there yeah I don't know when I'm going to film the review on this with company over and stuff. Like, I'll have the next one up tomorrow night, and it's Thanksgiving. I could do it Thanksgiving night. I don't know. Uh, it's hardly everybody goes to bed. If not, then I'll have to probably wait until maybe a week so I can really get back to it. This is not due for two weeks. I'm not too worried. Well, I'll get that later. I see where it rolled off to, but I don't want to bend down and pick that up. It's another little candy machine. These are pretty cool, really. Like a claw machine or something. Just set that right there. And then that's it. I mean, that's a lot of parts, including the one that fell on the ground. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, now we're going to move on to 23. We have not hit, we have not finished one stick or two yet. And then I'm going to put these in. I'll set him over there right now. All this round stuff. And okay. Recording? Good. Make sure I have a checklist. Make sure that you wouldn't have to install that because we're still working on this thing too. Ooh, is that printed? No, no, it's not, but I guarantee it's going to get a sticker. Because I see round things in here that need stickers or need plates or whatever to be put on. Yeah, so I'm just happy to get my parts in now. What am I going to do? I don't know. Yeah, some of my family's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you going to do with all this Lego stuff? I said, I have no clue. I'm like, where do I store it? And I'm in a desert, so obviously storing it outside is not, not an option. Uh, you know. I have a, a hobby that I don't do on YouTube, but it's a hobby that pays. And then I do this, and, you know. This one here is, the funds are provided, but I just don't, uh, 
you know, for the most part, I just don't have no way to get everything done in terms of storage. But my part haul, I got to put that in the description that uh, I paid for that, not Lego. Some, some now are thinking, they're like, oh, well, Lego sent you all that. No, no they didn't. Can you still see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. Yeah, I was going to place an order for parts. They had double VIP, and I thought, well, I, man, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, well, I don't know if I want to spend any more money right now. And well, I got two different colors here. That's not how that goes. And then I looked. And I'm glad I didn't because a lot of the parts I had in my basket were parts that are just ordered. And I was almost, it's like, well, I would have wasted some money doing that. Oh, well, at least I didn't have to. Because I don't want to just get too much in my inventory where it's hard to, to deal with. Hmm. Okay, we gotta find ones with stars. These are printed. It's got an arrow. Yeah, my TV tuner project. I'm uh, working on a mortal box for the TV guy that pops up. And then I gotta do something to turn the channels. And I got to pull up an array of channels, and so I can uh, point which way this thing's supposed to to turn the stations and stuff. It's kind of weird, you know. When you get down to the low spot, you know, your index, you go negative one, and you start back up at the top. But where does the top start at? We don't know. What if I'm going up the channels and I reach to the end of the array? Yeah, I have to do a lot of testing and stuff for that, and it's like, yeah. I just looked at it today. I didn't really even write any code up for it. I just got it to enough where I can where I can watch TV off of it. That's kind of cool. It just sits right in there. Well. Maybe it does it like that. That would make more sense. All right. And a bunch of these. I got a bunch of these now, these corner tiles. And I kind of... I'm running out of space, you know. Before I joined the Ambassador Network... I was going to start overflowing probably in about 10 years. Well, since I've been getting a lot of sets, and a lot of these sets have parts that I'll probably rarely, if ever, use, uh, I'm overflowing. It took me about two years. So I don't know. All right, so we got to put this on here first. And then we got to deface this beautiful tile. Well, I didn't put that in the right spot with a sticker, and that's sticker number one. We finally got to number one, huh? Right there. What a waste of a good round tile. Jay, stop your complaining. That's hard. How'd that go on there? Well, I guess it does go on like that. I think it goes on like that. Now it shows it like that, so we haven't gotten that far. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I remember when I did the campground build, a lot of people would comment on that. Like when I was doing the uh, this this style of uh, of build, and now uh, when I do the review stuff, nobody comments. Here's the deal: what since this is like an open forum, you can ask me questions on anything. You can talk about mocks or something in the next. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do because these are all filmed in advance. That's the only problem. Probably why nobody comments on these because. By the time I'm done, though, I'm done filming them. That's it. Here we go. Okay, now we need the uh, anime eyes. Throw those on there. I think there's going to be another head that goes over there. And that thing just rolled. So, it's probably an elephant. Obviously not Mr. Snuffleupagus, if anybody knows who he is. Okay. We got one more head to make. I have a feeling that's what these extra tiles are for. And, yep. Pretty much the same thing. Well, maybe not. It's a little different. Boy, I'm going to be Butterfingers. I was even doing that during the, uh, the review. I was, like, dropping parts and... My hands are just like all, ugh. and since it's been a long time, but I uh, actually put up a Christmas tree finally. It was just, it's just me. I don't really bother with it, but you know, family over, it's like you got to do it. I would just hang the lights on the tree and call it a day. And that started some issues. Some have noticed, though, I sound more excited when I'm doing uh, my own builds. Yeah. I think it's supposed to go where it's hanging over. No. Also just be like that. Am I not putting that in the right spot? That looks a little better. I don't know how that's supposed to go on there. And then, then step 565, swing this up in between them. So that's what it looks like. Okay, um, I think the next strategy I'm going to do, probably in the next segment, well, it's just so messy in here, it's hard to move around as it is. I kind of want to just, I notice this camera is getting pushed back further and stuff like this is just so small. So i got to think of a better way to film these. It's just, I don't want to be bothered with changing the camera angles because it just, like down here below, you can't see down here. There's just sets stranded all over the place, like falling apart, you know, and I'm just trying to, this, this Lego room, it's just, it's full. It's bursting at the seams. When I was a kid, I would have killed to have all these Lego bricks. Now, I'm kind of like, I got so much, it's so plentiful. And alas, I can't donate any of it. Not allowed to by the land. My own stuff I could, but um, and too, I'm afraid if I do, I'll probably end up needing a part out of one of these. These little uh, 
these type of leaf pieces here are pretty cool. I just wish they come in different colors. And we got to put a sticker on this tile, and that's sticker number 13, which is that right there. Now, I'm just hoping we can get these all done here tonight. Now, that one didn't go on too bad. And it goes on here. Now, it's supposed to go on there. But yeah, to answer the questions is after a while I do get tired of putting sets together. It's just someone else's idea, you know. Okay, this time I read ahead. So first off, let me put these up here. That's what we have remaining for bag 23. Slide the big thing over. You're going to need it. And then this little shop fits right in here. So really, like right here is a piece in itself. That's one, two, three. And this big piece is four. I think that's five and six. Not no yeah, just five and six. I think six people could build this. I think, honestly, I think it's meant for seven people. Okay. This is the last one we're going to be stopping. This is the last one for the night. It's bag 24. And... When I do the review on this, yeah, I'm just going to put it on the turntable and we'll do the close-up shot. We'll do the minifigures separate because there is a bunch of them. Okay, and we have not finished one sticker sheet yet. Hopefully we can finish one of them up by the end. If not, then yeah, looks like we'll be finishing them up in the last installment. And we got a minifigure here. We got Harry Potter in this one. Oh, it comes with a turkey. Is that medium nougat? No, that's just dark orange. I thought it's a new turkey body color or something. Would have been cool. Okay. Yes. We got turkey in this. <laughs> Probably why they're releasing this set now. This one comes with a red scarf, too. Yeah, it's been getting really cold out here. The heater's been firing up, which is unusual, but in the daytime, it's pretty warm. I'm almost like flipping on the heater or the air condition. So he's two-faced. He's got a sigh on there, and he's got the serious look. So get that on there better. And, yeah, it looks almost like Harry Potter in a way. Maybe that's who he is. We don't know. Just look at the box, but maybe not. All right, and then we got to make a torch for him. And am I looking at that right? Hold on, we'll get there. I'll show you. So we got the the thing to hold the torch. Put a flame in there, right? Close. It's a black flame. Maybe it's a paintbrush, we don't know. So you can use Wingonda Leviosa and go up to the top and I have to use the elevator. Or you can Wingonda Leviosa the turkey up there too. All right, so now let's begin with this. So yeah, I think the next installment I do is we're going to have to do this in several things. I notice the camera's just backed out a little too much. I can zoom in, huh? A few of you have told me you don't like it zoomed in. And I also have manual focus, too, so I have to keep focusing and stuff. Why do I turn off autofocus? Because the camera will do this. Some of these guys on YouTube... They boast about their real expensive cameras. 
And the one thing, oh, that is scratch, Lego. What are you doing with these parts? Really? Okay, that's an 8.3. That's okay. Uh, they just don't know how to set it up. Their cameras will go out of focus. And I'm like, man, this is playing hectic on my vision. <laughs> And I was like that, too, until a YouTuber that was in the stop motion, he's like, Jay, if you really want to get good quality bills, just turn off the autofocus, go manual. Use the one that, use the button that autofocuses the camera. After that, turn it back off. So I did that, right? I have not had one issue. So, you know, this is back in the day when the LEGO community would help you. you know, everybody helped one another. Because we all respected each other's bounds. Uh, now today, everybody wants to just steal everybody's idea and just say it's done. I don't know. But yeah. So just turn off the autofocus. Oh man, the yawn monster is getting to me. We are, this is the last bag for the night. Then I got to do the thumbnail. Then I got to go on the computer real quick and finish up my haul video so you can watch it about two weeks ago kind of weird you hear me talking about something and it's the haul right before thanksgiving so you'll probably have already seen it and yeah i like doing the hauls a lot of people don't watch them but i get that question where do i get my parts from well that's where i get them from okay some kind of chair or something there that I cannot get to sit down on that. So Lego did not want to use one by two plates. They used something else. I thought it was a chair. What is it then, huh? Because you got a jumper plate on the top. And another one of these. Yeah, in our uh, Discord group, we uh, talk about the Venice Beach webcam. And <laughs> it's funny, you can hear some really colorful people on that, too. Probably, probably They probably watch my Lego videos uh, just to kind of sit there. And the other night, I just kind of left it on and just dozed off to it. It's great for ambient noise, too. And friend's like, why do you have that plane at night? I said, just a... Listen, sometimes you hear the waves crashing in the background. I suggest for ambient noise. Then occasionally you'll hear somebody use some pretty uh, explicit uh, language that I can't even repeat on YouTube. <laughs> it's, a, it's a different experience. Daytime is just like people watching, but at night it's a whole different experience. In the nighttime, you never know. You, you may not get any action. Sometimes you will. Matter of fact, there's a YouTuber out there that has a channel. I'm not affiliated with him by any means, but he has a channel that talks about the cleanup over there. And yeah, we got that. We got a homeless crisis here in this in the state. Price of homes out here is just pricey. Okay, we need sticks, sticker 62. We only got three left. Are we going to finish this up tonight? So st 62 goes on that. And that's it right there. Watch, there's going to be like one sticker a piece on these. And then that's going to be a bummer. Like, oh, Jay, we know you need to finish that. So we can't, we can't allow that. Could be a book too. A couple of books. Maybe that's the attorney's office. Huh? 
Huh? Oh, I was like, what the heck is that there? Okay, so this just sits here. I was looking at this thinking, well, that, is that just thrown on there? No, it's on that little, I'll put it up here and I'll show you. It's on there like that. I don't know what that's for. Okay, we're going to make a book. I was hoping the book piece would be printed, but it's not. So, the book alone just takes two stickers. So, obviously, we need sticker 42 for that. I found 42 and 47 on the little sheet here. And at least we're getting rid of this. Hopefully, we can get rid of one sheet tonight. I have a feeling we're not. It means I gotta have them hang around here for another day. And then 47 is right here. We haven't got to that yet. I don't even see a Nexel Night Shield in there. So it looks like we won't get to that for for until the next installment. And that's it. The book goes in here. And it falls off. Yeah, that's a really clever Lego. I mean, how is that even supposed to stay on there unless it's supposed to be like a lecture or something, but that right there is just an accessory waiting to get lost. Unless there's another way to keep it, to keep that in there, and just trying to rotate this thing in such a way, yeah, this is going to fall apart real easy. So I'm going to starting to ding it down a little bit more, and that that's it right there. So it's nothing. It's just something that you're going to have to keep track of. Yeah, I'm just craving for that turkey dinner. <laughs> I remember we were talking, there was this one guy years ago, we were in his chat room, hardcore vegetarian, I think he was vegan. We were all talking about Thanksgiving, streaming it. He goes, oh, you guys better not stream that in my chat room. I'm sure this is probably compatible with the other Monkey Kid sets because they were kind of built the same way. Just about done for the night. Not sure what that's for. Unless it's supposed to be a, a beer keg. Okay, it goes back in there. Could be a keg. We don't know what that is. Oh, nice. Serving up a couple of cold ones. And this thing just goes here. Kind of reading two steps at one time. here. Well, there's a lot of little pieces, so maybe not. 
Well, I was hoping one of these. Oh, we got two stickers coming up on the same piece. Okay, so sticker number 21 and 27, which is on here. I think we're not going to get any of these stickers consumed tonight. See, some of these are just barely on the edge. You know, and obviously not meant for non-study hands. Freestyle. I knew a guy that did a lot of freestyle uh, mixing, got into the dubstep gig. Pretty cool. Some people have that knack. I know I don't. Well, I don't think we're going to get a. I don't think we're going to get one sticker sheet done. But I know one thing. This what's killing this set is the sticker sheets. If it was just dinging off points, no scratches on parts, probably a nine. All right, so. We have three drumsticks. And the turkey body is trying to hide from me here. Okay, well, I just learned something new. I'll show you here. Hmm. Well, I can't get the drumstick back on. Once you take them off, I guess you can. They put one of these in here. I can find it right on the neck here. So that's a 3.2 shaft. So I bet this is going to get hung. That's exactly where it's going to go. So. If you're building a butcher or something from medieval, your medieval village, there you go. Right there. And... Let's see here. Yeah, it goes right here. I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? See, it's kind of out of focus. But you get the idea. Okay, well, they, this book is floating, but everything here in this butcher shop here, well, I can't even get this carrot stick in there. My hands are too big. All right, I'm going to have to pull this out real quick. Get the salary stick in there, the carrot top in there, and then the drumstick goes here. You get three drumsticks in a, in a turkey body. There we go. At least it's fixed to the counter so it doesn't roll off on you. You know. Okay. One by eight in there. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I just got to do a few more things, and I'm going to go Betty by here. Huh? Oh, it's like what? I don't want those lined up. I don't even know why. Yeah, 
And usually after Thanksgiving, after we have dinner, we always go for a long walk. Well, I don't know about this year. Probably not. Everybody now rather just go out for a drive. And that's it. Okay, does it say where to put that at or no? Oh, we got to put two things together here, which is the book thing. Yeah, see, this crap's already falling off. We'll put that on there first. I think this thing's just meant to rotate. So now the book at least has this wall here to keep it from falling off. And that is what we have remaining for bag 24. Now, for the summation, we have not finished one bag of sticker yet. Well, we've seen him before. So, one sticker here. So we know in the last installment we're going to be finishing up sticker sheets. This one's got three stickers, so four. And we got two here. I have not hit the, the smoke them if you got them piece yet. Matter of fact, it's probably that's what it is. Tobacco color. Okay. We ha and we still have just, well, that piece that fell out. This piece here. And we have this gold ring and this uh, medium stone gray plate. We haven't even hit any of this stuff yet. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done so far. And, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So now we're actually shrinking down the set size a little bit. Now we're combining things together. And that's essentially what it is so far. Not too bad of a build. Um, for somebody like myself, it's a little too... Uh, too... Uh, Nonfiction or fiction, whatever, fantasy. Now let's get all the mini figures out for the thumbnail. And of course, the last thumbnail will stage everything and stuff. And am I pleased with the build so far? It's it's okay. It's it's not really uh my taste, but it's, I mean, sure it's got a lot of good parts once you de-sticker. Seventeen whole minifigures. I don't think we're even done yet. i got to put these somewhere here. Well, there was that little kitten thing that we had. Did he get lost? We tossed him somewhere, and now I don't know where he went. Oh, silly me right there. Yeah, your noodles are going to stay inside the thing. See, this guy is just top heavy. Trying to be careful not to break these because I need to get all this here generated here for the, for the tour. That's how it is. That's how we roll here. I'm not done yet. I mean, there's... You're not going to get shortchanged on minifigures, but honestly, though, if you're not into the Monkey Kid set, I have a feeling this is going to be one of those sets you're going to see 50% off in the discount aisle at your big box store. And that's it, except for the little uh, noodle piece. But, yeah, that's what we've done so far. This is bags 1 through 24, and for $190, I'm not seeing it yet. I, maybe because we're not done with it, but... The main, the main turnoff on this set so far is stickers. It's, it's just not really... Uh, I mean, if everything in here was 100% printed, I'd say yes, but yeah, I just, I just don't see it. But tell me what you think.